If I had to put windows in one word, it would be life-giving. It was life-saving for me. Um, and I know that anyone that I've shared it with, I could see the change too. So it's a gift. It truly is a gift. With windows, I reach victims of domestic violence and human trafficking, and also in the faith-based community and children. So both adults and children. If I had to put trauma in one word, I would say that it would be chaos. From my experience, trauma shows up as explosive chaos, explosive anger, anxiety, separation, and running away from others. I first began with Windows Between Worlds as a participant living at a domestic violence shelter. And then like a few years after that, I became a facilitator. And um, the way that I was introduced which to Windows, which uh, was the workshop, was uh, story trees. In the first tree that I created many years ago, there was a lot of sadness, um, a lot of shame and guilt. And physically, um, I would hide a lot. Even I, I wouldn't even wear makeup or jewelry be, or even do my nails because <laughs> it would freak me out. That first tree was the first time that I said, here I am, um, and this is what I look like, and this is what's going on. That first tree for me was the beginning of this, this journey. And that was the first time in my life that I ever shared that I had been sexually abused as a child. So that was the first day that I experienced freedom because I felt something in my soul shift where I can finally speak and I can say, yeah, this horrific thing happened to me when I was five years old and, or six years old, whatever age it was. And it wasn't my fault, but I walked with so much shame because of what happened to me until art gave me back my voice. And in, in a sense where I was able to put it somewhere and it didn't have to be a secret anymore. Now my tree, you know, has grown, has healed, has transformed into a bigger tree that could now nurture others that are going through the same thing that I once was. Leilani is 11. Um, you know, she was diagnosed with PTSD at five. And um, when I got connected to Windows, she was very young. And because we got, we got introduced to Windows when we lived in the shelter. So we did Windows as clients. And so did my little girl, you know, in the children program. And I did it in the adult program. When my little girl was going through her PTSD triggers and all that stuff and having a lot of anxiety, she wasn't really saying anything but freezing. So art became her voice. Now this little girl um, is such an amazing artist. She loves to draw. She has a journal that she tra we travel with it, but she it's for her drawing journal that she puts her emotions. So, you know, I've also, you know, as a parent educator, thank God I've been able to help her with her emotional intelligence to say, I need, I feel, I want, versus just going into the feeling and the emotion and the explosion. So I do see it personally, how it works. It does take work because <laughs> it's not overnight, but I can tell how my daughter feels by her drawings. I am grateful for Windows for giving me back my voice and my freedom. Art enables freedom, spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally. So for me, it's been freedom um, to connect to my voice. I'm grateful for Windows for allowing me to share art with my family, with my daughter, and connect not just with her because of the stuff that she went through, but to take it to everyone else that was hurting just like I was one day. So for me, you are a gift. <laughs> and I will always say, Windows is a gift. <laughs>